of all the many demonstrations against the president and his visit to the UK this week, I thought this was the most creative. A high school student who lives about five miles from the airport where Trump's plane was landing did a bit of manscaping on his parents' lawn. <laughs> he... Now, unfortunately, we've had to blur this image for our viewers at home who are offended by lawn genitalia, but he mowed a <laughs> giant penis into the grass next to the words, Oi, Trump. He was hoping the president would see it on his way in. He also mowed a polar bear, and the message, climate change is real. So, um, obviously, I figured it would be good to get to know this kid before I adopt him, so we reached out. And joining us now from his home in Bishop Stortford, England, please say hello to Ali Nankaro. How Ali, did I get your name right? Hi, yeah, hi. Ali, thank you for joining us. First of all, congratulations. Uh, it's my pleasure. And, and how old are you? Uh, I'm 18. 18. Now, have you always been interested in art? <laughs> uh, <laughs> not this kind of art, but I've always been interested in art, yeah. What inspired you to do this? Uh, well, I've had a uh, strong passion for climate change for quite a while now, and obviously I knew that Trump was, was coming into Stansted and my house. I believe is on some sort of flight path because we get tons of planes over all the time. So I thought that you know, this was probably the, the best what... time to do something. Yes. This is what came up. And what did your parents think about this plan? <laughs> uh, my parents uh, loved it. I mean, my mum was the one that actually helped me. It will now, yeah. Um, but you know, they're, they're super proud of me. Oh, well, sure. <laughs> <laughs> my stupid parents get mad when I do stuff like this. So, what, um, <laughs> what kind of a mower did you use to do that? Uh, so it's just a normal ride on a ride on uh, lawnmower. Oh, you've got a riding mower. Very impressive. <laughs> now, uh, did this cause a commotion in your town? Is everybody aware of this now? I mean, everyone is aware of it, and I. Uh... Yeah, pretty much everyone. Yeah, I yeah. came home yesterday. Now you've I came home yesterday from my exam. You got a visit from the police, is that correct? <laughs> yes, I came yeah. home from my exam yesterday to be greeted by both the ITV and uh, a few detectives. And so, is this yes. against the law <laughs> or the lawn? I don't, is it against the law? <laughs> well, well. It, it has been said that it has been at risk of breaching the Public Indecency Act, oh. which, mm, yeah. so... Yeah. <laughs> so you, anyway... been strongly advised. You changed, you altered the image, I guess, after the police visited you to this. Uh, that's a turtle, a sea turtle, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a sea yeah. turtle. <laughs> yeah. Ollie, did you think about any other animals, or was it sea turtle immediately? Uh, well, uh, the sea turtle was quite significant to me because I visited Malaysia last year, and obviously going scuba diving with turtles is sort of a little bit of a life-changing uh, so, thing. So, so, so. Do you think this will change the president's mind about climate change? It will sway him in any way. <laughs> I mean, he's a pretty stubborn guy, yeah. so can probably not, a... but I think... Can I make a recommendation for the flight know. out? Uh, boobs next time is really... <laughs> I, think he'll, I think he'll respond more to boobs. If you... Yeah, I think he'll like, I think he'll like that more. Well, well done, Ollie. Uh, uh, very well done, Thank and you uh, if you ever move to America, uh, you're well... I, I'd love you to be my gardener. Thank you, Ollie. That's uh, Ollie <laughs> from England. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you want to see all our latest videos, click the subscribe button. And if you don't, click anyway and close your eyes when they come on.